Hey, what's going on guys? I just recently switched to the S-Works Ares Road Shoes. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to switch the cleats so you get that five millimeter setback. I've got good news and bad news. It's quite easy to do is the good news. The bad news is you gotta do a little bit of surgery on your new shoes. These also apply to the specialized S-Works Torch Shoes. And we're gonna simply go over that, show you how to do it. Like I said, simple and straightforward, just a little bit cringy that you've just spent $600 on these shoes and now you have to do this. But a big part of that is saving the weight and not having a plate there, rather having the individual cleat retainers. So we're gonna jump right into that. All right, as I mentioned, we are going to move these back so we get that five millimeter setback for the cleats. I had the cleats set up. They're just a little bit too far forward for me. I like a little bit more of a mid foot push. If you like your cleats forward, this is not even gonna apply to you. But ultimately what we are going to do is perform a little surgery on the shoes. The shoes, the S-Work shoes here, they don't have a full plate so they don't just slide as one unit. These are all individual cleat bolts made of titanium, not having a full plate will save some weight, but in order to do it, you're gonna have to perform some surgery, potentially on your brand new shoes, and we're gonna do that now. So first things first, you're gonna have to remove your old footbed, and then it's very hard to see here, and I'm gonna grab some light and shine it down so you can see a little bit better. But towards the cleats, you can see some little cut marks in the shoes. What we're gonna do is we are going to cut those. And that might be a little scary for some of you, but it's the only way to do it. Some people have used pliers to grab it and flip it around. I don't recommend that because there are people that strip out these bolts because you're gonna grab from the inside and you're gonna get rid of those threads and then you're gonna to have to cut it anyways. But if you're gonna do this, ultimately I would say just ride them in the front position for a while and make sure that that's not your position. For me, I know it's not. All mine are set back on every pair of shoes that I own as far back as possible. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an X-Acto knife because we gotta get in there. You could use a another knife, something like that, something sharp, but the reach is gonna be different. And if you've got uh, big hands like myself, even getting in the shoes, you're gonna need that little bit of reach. So here we go. We're just gonna perform surgery on these guys. So after a little bit of work, you can see we got it out. That's what the cleat looks like. So we're just gonna flip it around and we're going to reinsert it back into the shoe so it's orientated like this. And we're gonna do that six times. So another technique is you can go from the bottom, you can pierce if you have a thin enough blade from here. If you've got a big knife, I wouldn't recommend doing that. You can cut the carbon fiber, but just be careful when you're doing it. Ultimately, you will cut through the material. It may not be perfectly lined up inside the shoe, but I prefer to go to the other side because they do have those two score marks and you just kind of cut that and then peel it back. Just as a note as well, these are kind of glued in. So you can just kind of slide that in, move and cut it about. All right, so at the end you can see we've reversed these bolts. You just have to put your insoles back in it is going to take you a bit. It is not the easiest job, like I said, getting your hands in there to kind of flip them around. This is the best method I've found. All right, guys. So hopefully that helped you out. And now you've got your shoes set up. I know I tried mine initially, and I mentioned before that you should ride them a bit with the cleats in the current position. If you don't want to commit surgery on your shoes right away, see how comfortable that is. For me, it's 
all my shoes are set back to sort of a mid cleat position. So guaranteed across the board, that's what has to be done. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.